Hey guys, I'm currently on a course with the Prince's Trust, which involves vlogging, and I have unfortunately failed to come up with a topic more interesting than me talking about my own boring life. So here we are. Basically, I've spent all day trying to come up with literally anything I can do a vlog entry about. I have came up with hundreds of ideas, all of which just didn't quite connect properly. And it's left me with no choice but to just talk about my life. Oh dear. There were certainly some interesting ideas, but definitely nothing that I really thought was the exact thing to do. I mean, I had a lot of various resources around me that I could have done something on. Like, I just happened to have recently panic bought a load of Doctor Who Battles and Time Packs for nostalgia's sake. I could have just cracked those open, but to be honest, I want to do... A, my plan is to buy, like, loads of these over time and then do a massive opening down the line. I also have a whole bunch of, like, 2018... Season Match Attack 101 Jumbo Packs for literally no reason. Could have opened them as well. Same thing. I uh, actually have more of these on the way. I did think I could finally do my opening video and review on the WWE Hero Clicks Mitch, uh, Mixed Match Starter Challenge Set. Um, but again, just thought wasn't really quite what I wanted to do. So thought I'd leave that for a day where I actually want to do it. I've also had to move the camera to show you this last one because it was actually like what the camera was sitting on. But I also have this Honky Tonk Man action figure that I've had since the start of lockdown that I still haven't opened. Could have done that. So there's lots of interesting things I could have done that I just didn't really feel quite like doing. I say there's a lot of interesting things I could have done today. I guess I mean interesting for me at least. That's why we've ended up doing what we're doing here. So I guess I'll tell you everything of interest that happens for the rest of the evening. Luckily, I do stay up pretty late, so... Hopefully there's going to be some interesting stuff to talk about. Otherwise, this is going to be awkward. So I just came off Rocket League with my mates. I really love Rocket League. I have more hours on this game than any other game easily. Um, it's actually ridiculous how much I play this game. It's really helped me through lockdown. It's really helped me in general, to be honest, just stave off boredom. It's like, if you just start doing nothing, chuck Rocket League on. Why not? Oh, turns out I actually have a rare drop to open on this. So why not find out what this is? Let's take a look. Come on, literally anything doesn't really matter to me. Oh, junk food player banner, that's kind of cool. Got some burgers on there, some donuts, some pizza. Okay. So I've just completed what is probably the most interesting part of my day, which is my eBay sales. Now, obviously this would have been a great thing for me to vlog, but the problem is I couldn't really vlog me listing stuff because I have to list stuff on my phone. And I couldn't really vlog me picking orders either because, honestly, I mean my my stocking system is is not great. If it's just a pile on the on the on the on my top bunk, I'll I'll show you in a second. So that would have been a great thing to do it on. I think um, there's a lot of great YouTubers who do do that, but unfortunately, it wasn't really an option. I suppose what I am going to do is show you some of the sales I've made uh, this week and uh, or weekend, and uh, yeah, that should hopefully be remotely interesting. I mean, just look at the state of this. Like, how could I possibly elegantly sort of show myself picking orders out of this jumble of trash? Just not going to happen, is it? So, like I said, uh, I'll show you some of the things that have uh, sold this week. So, the first thing I've sold this week is uh, this Heavy Steam Palette Expansion Pack. This was from a bundle of retail arbitrage. This was like a pound. So, I've not made an incredible amount of money on there. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. The next thing we sold is actually really cool. This is a N'Golo Kante Silver Limited Edition uh, Match Attacks card. Now, the reason this is really cool is not just this price tag here of £19.95, but it's the fact that this limited edition card is guaranteed in one of the products, which costs £20. So you can literally just resell this for, like, basically the price of the item. So that's really cool. So I just bought another one. And that, again, I could have done an opening on that as a vlog, but... Unfortunately, I opened that yesterday. Really just didn't didn't think that one through. Next thing we've got here is this is this uh, WWE CD, uh, Anthology CD. I got this from Christmas, like probably about 10 years ago from uh, one of my cousins and um, just never listened to it, never opened it. Realized that I just didn't have any sentimental attachment to it quite recently and stuck it up on here and it sold for the full 14 99 so that's pretty cool. Uh, next thing is a Cactus Jack wrestling figure. I did originally want to keep this guy for his jacket, but I actually discovered that the jacket, you can't remove the jacket without tearing it off the figure. It's, uh, 
really bad design but yeah that's sold uh, the same day i listed it so that's really cool and it's also sold shortly after listing it it's another thing from the arbitrage bundle it's a play mat from a, a card game this uh again i listed this the other day because i realized it wasn't listed for some reason and it's sold already so that's cool uh, these originally were waiting around for quite a while when they were originally listed uh, i actually bought each of these for 25 pence and it will go as a large letter so that is a pretty reasonable profit on that um to be honest and uh, these would be the profits that we've been making here on this lot these are the uh profits on the items we've just been talking about so yeah it's not been too bad it's not been a bad week for me really um you know i don't make mad money on this stuff but it's still pretty interesting there's the parcels ready to go out uh in the morning you know when i've got a chance in between doing the course and doing this stuff so I got up late this morning, which I was incredibly disappointed with myself about because I, you know, when I say I got up late, I mean, I was late for the course this morning. You know, I'm incredibly disappointed in myself for that. And I've spent all day trying to think of something to make a vlog on. So I am really disappointed with my own productivity today, but that's okay. You know, we're doing something new. We're trying something new. And the fact of the matter is, you know, we're doing this course to keep ourselves busy while we're in lockdown again so you can't really be too hard on yourself for doing anything that keeps you busy really granted i do wish i'd came up with something that i could just do in 10 minutes and then spend the rest of the day having a laugh but sometimes life doesn't go that way and you know we've got to have days like that sometimes i suppose hopefully as the week goes on i'll find better things to do content on i guess well i'm thinking at this stage it's quite likely i'm going to go on xbox game pass for the rest of the night and uh, try and squeeze some indie games for achievements to have some false sense of accomplishment uh for the day and try and recover something maybe do some microsoft reward quests get ourselves some microsoft reward points i've got about thirty thousand reward points at the moment and that's about a 25 pound gift card and uh I'm quite tempted to get the new Spongebob game. So I thought the last thing I would talk about today is probably the thing that's most important to me, and that is my music. What I tend to do on an evening is just quickly check to see how many plays I've had on various uh, sites, just to feel a little bit better about myself and uh, the world in general. So these new demos, still not really seeing much attention, but I was really proud of this one. I uploaded all three of these on the same day, and... Um, You'll see if I scroll down a little, uh, actually if I go on my, the other profile, you see if I scroll down, it actually has almost the exact same stats, actually it's got more now, almost had the exact same stats to this track I believe in the dark, so when I first realised how many track plays this had gotten for some reason, I thought this was I believe in the dark and I was like wait where's the third one gone? And then when I realised it was a pretty nice surprise, should we take a look at Spotify as well? Let's see what our audience is at. Okay, we've had 33 streams. Uh, this 99% change decrease is because I was uh, sort of trying to fiddle it last month. Um, it's a long story I won't get into. Um, not not bad statistics for what we're talking about. We've got no new followers. No new followers. In fact, we're still, we're still down one, but that's okay. Uh, listeners, oh, we've got a 27% change. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's nice. Oh, we've got a big presence in the US right now. But the last thing I'll do is have a quick look on the Twitter. I always use incognito tabs to sign in a different account because uh, obviously it just signs you out easier um, and everything. We'll have a quick look just to make sure we haven't, yeah, just thingy reviews, yeah. Just uh, get a lot of uh, radio play mentions through it. I mean, this guy really spammed my notifications as a bit of a shame. But yeah, I get a lot of radio play notifications through this, so, you know, that's pretty cool. Nothing new today, unfortunately. But anyway, yeah, that's that. Okay, so I think that's pretty much more or less everything I'm going to have to talk to you about today. Although, if I do do anything else for the rest of the evening, I will just slot those in before this clip, I suppose. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and uh, goodbye. I promise to try and do something more entertaining in the future.